For the last six months now, we've been reporting on the negative impact the COVID pandemic has had on Oklahoma's economy. But as ONR Steve Shaw reports, not all businesses have been struggling. In fact, some businesses are thriving and can't keep their products in stock. And the ones that are and the reasons why might surprise you. Chuck Robinson and his wife moved into their home in Edmond 30 years ago. Uh, we've been saying for at least 25 of those 30 years, that's where the pool's going to go. And we were sitting here in May and we said, why don't we have a pool? He says COVID-19 is why they finally took the plunge back in May. We have grandkids and, and adult sons just decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. Hal Mills has operated Edmund Deck and Patio going on 40 years. He says when the pandemic hit back in March, he lost three big customers. The next week we started getting slammed and we've done more business in the last four months than we have in any one year. Over in Moore, Richard Starkey and his wife Candy had planned to drive to Idaho, Oregon and California last summer to visit their kids and grandkids. But COVID-19 changed that. I'm 75 years old. I'm one of the more susceptible, if you will. But, uh, and my wife, she's 72, so we thought, we don't want to take the chance, so what are we going to do? Well, we can't just sit here in the backyard forever. So he called Nathan Boyle's Blue Haven Pools. And uh, the rest is history. He built us a beautiful pool. I can't keep my wife out of it. Boyle says Blue Haven has built 70 pools since February. Their business is up 235% over last year. Yeah, we didn't know what was going to happen if, if, if we were going to have to be shut down. And, but we got listed as essential, as construction companies are. So it just kind of skyrocketed. Blue Haven is also in the middle of Gary Jones' pool in South Oklahoma City. It is. It's a different world. Um, I retired in January. And our first trip was going to be to Europe for three weeks this summer. Well, you know, that, that got put away. Jones says a pool makes sense for him, too. You have to think about your, your health and your family's health just constantly. Here at Family Leisure in Oklahoma City, you know what their biggest seller's been? Above ground pools. General Manager Jason Monco says the most they'd ever sold in a year was 265. This year, they've sold 485. Next thing is coming is hot tubs. Hot tubs is the next big craze that people have been wanting, and then outdoor patio furniture. In Claremore, owner Stephanie Pierce at Dave's RV says sales skyrocketed beginning in early May. So the last time this happened was after 9-11. There was definitely some hesitation with people wanting to fly, so we saw a little bit of a boost then. This is even a larger scale, and I think it just, again, it has to do with both. It's pent up being you know cooped up for that period of time it's not wanting to stay in hotels and maybe fly because you're not sure and this you clean it yourself it's only your germs they're inside of you and your family oklahoma city's lewis rv center normally keeps 200 in stock right now clifton lewis says they've got around 10. 98 percent of all rvs are actually made in indiana um, and all the suppliers in indiana um, so there's really nothing you know locally that we can do to help the situation out. Tulsa Power Sports is also finding it hard to keep all of the outdoor play toys in stock. A lot of new people, yeah. Um, it, it's been the perfect example of, uh, of uh, our citizens saying, hey, I need something to do that's not inside my house that I can still enjoy and be respectful to other people. And Cook says there are many factors why they're running behind. You know, we're dealing with Japan, Austria, um, Mexico, Canada, our stuff's from all over the world, and um, they were shut down before we were, um, and now it's starting to show. Economists warn that for every booming industry, others are gone or on life support. You can't have the economy or health. There's no economy without good health. Travis Roach is associate professor of economics at UCO in Edmond. He says the U.S. operates right now at just 66 percent of its economic capacity, which he says lags way behind other developed nations. We can't get back to any kind of booming or normalcy until we really approach this virus with the necessity it needs by, by taking it seriously. It's changing the composition of demand. 
Uh, so where people used to spend their money, say, traveling, visiting other locations, maybe on a monthly gym membership, they're now reallocating that same money to different uh, perceived safer uh, activities. No regrets, none whatsoever. I, I miss my grandkids, I miss my son and my uh, uh, granddaughter and everybody, but I got a pool. <laughs> they can come and visit me now. Steve Shaw, The Oklahoma News Report.